Thousands of people with marijuana convictions are getting a clean slate. The city of San Francisco plans to dismiss or review their cases. So, will LA be next? CBS News' Peter Dowd is live in Studio City with more information. Peter. Hey, Pat, right now it is a brave new world when it comes to marijuana policy since it's now legal to buy pot from dispensaries like this. San Francisco is hoping to lead the way in terms of how you can get pot and also when it comes to previous convictions, but not other cities are on board and other people are speaking out, including here in Southern California. At Koreatown Collective Wednesday, the biggest buzz came from San Francisco. I thought that was great. I mean, it's just, it's just another leaf turning. San Francisco's district attorney announced thousands of people with misdemeanor convictions for marijuana possession dating back 40 years will have their criminal records cleared, and nearly 5,000 felonies will be reviewed and possibly resentenced. We want to address the wrongs that were caused by the, the failures of the war on drugs for many years in this country. But Los Angeles has not made a similar announcement, and many here in law enforcement hope it stays that way. It seems California is more interested in handing out get out of jail free cards than they are in punishing people for the crimes that they commit. Lou Turiaga is the director of the LA Police Protective League. He says Prop 64, which legalized recreational pot, should not be used retroactively to expunge or reduce prior convictions. There's no reason to go back and waste taxpayer money, my money, I'm a taxpayer in the city, to do that for someone who committed a crime. But back at Koreatown Collective, pot enthusiasts say the move could be a fresh start for people whose convictions branded them as criminals. Most of the people that did get charged or get arrested weren't bad people. I would think it would help a lot of people in a, in a broader spectrum. I reached out to the L.A. County District Attorney's Office, but it said no one was available for comment. Meanwhile, San Diego is also forgiving previous marijuana convictions. Back to you.